In this class, we are going to learn how to customize the list of values on click of this select single component in Visual Builder application. Suppose I click on the LOV, instead of a single item, we are seeing a tabular data over here that is a table component we have embedded in this select single list of values wherein we will get the first name, last name, phone. When the user clicks on anything, it gets selected or that particular row gets selected. So without wasting much time, let's see how to do this in Visual Builder application. I have created a basic application over here and this is a web page within the web app. First of all, I will drop the select single component. Let me drag and drop it over here. So, I am going to make use of this quick start and populate the data. So, I am going to populate the select single component with employee information. So, I am selecting this employee business object. Click on next. In label, I am going to select first name and in the value, I am going to select the ID and in the row data, I will have details for email, I will have details of a job, I will have details for manager, phone number, salary, yeah, that's it and also the last name. Click on next and click on finish. Done. Let me switch over to the live mode and click on this list of value. Now here, if you see, we are getting the list of all the employees. Going back to the design view. Now what you need to do is we have to search for table component over here. Under the collections category, we are having a table just drag and drop it over single, select single. So we need to select over here collection template, not the item template. Item template we had seen in our previous class. Now we are going to make use of the collection. When you drag and drop, it will take you to this menu that is for table. What we need to do is if this does not show up, I will just select this select single component over here. If you scroll down, after you click on the select single component under the generals tab, here you will have this collection template and the table. Click on the table link. So it will open you this page where you can configure the table information. Now before going into this table definition, click on the select single, go to the generals tab over here. Now we need to click on the template over here under the collection template. Now data OJ as I will name this as collection. So this will hold the value of collection that is the list of values in our case or the list of employees. Now go back. Now we need to click on this tables over here. The collection template here the data is holded in this collection parameter. In the data for the table what we need to do is we have to go to this expression builder. Here we have to make use of this collection, whatever naming we had given for OJ data that is for collection template, we have to give it over here and the data. So this is the array, let me wrap it with the array over here, then click on save. So this is done, coming to the tables, here it is not allowing us to select the table columns because we it is not having a structure as such, we did not create a variable, did not define a type, if you have created the type, so that will allow you to create a columns over here. So, what we can do is we can go to the edit over here. Here we can define the array of columns. So, what I am going to do is I am going to copy this one of the samples. So, this is having an array of objects and in the object, this object will hold the value for each column where first column will have the text as first name. So, it will get the value from the first name of the collection. So, collection you have to remember it will hold the value of employees from the business object what we configured in the list of value. So, collection dot data is the array for the table. Then in that array that is collection dot data, we will have a first name, last name, phone number, salary. We had selected n number of things while configuring the select single component with the help of quick start. So, I am copying this entire thing from here and pasting it over here in the table column. So, once done, we can switch over to the live mode, click on this LOV. Now here if you see, we are getting the list of all the employees over here. Now next thing what we can do is, we can restrict the height of this table component. So in order to restrict, we can set it to 200 px, even we can make use of the percentage or the vh symbol over here for adjusting the height. So let me go to this quick start or all, we can make use of the app.css as well in order to style those things. So here we have to search for the style. It's over here, just paste it 200 px, just tab out, now click on the view, so it will restrict the view to 200 px. 
sorry i have not mentioned the height let me mention the height over here that is height colon 200 px done just tab out it will save the file then let's click on this now if you see the height of the table is adjusted to 200 px even we can mention this with the percentage let me give it the vh just tab out click on this so it is taking only two virtual height so we will increase this to 50 just tab out it is always a good practice if you are building your application which will scale as per the mobile or any screen size then it's always a good practice to give this vh or percentage for the width and for height it is vh so let me leave this as is now if the user selects something over here it is not getting selected because we have to make use of one more function or the property over here that is on oj row action so i think it's not there over here let me define it let me go to the code view before style let me add that over here that is on oj row action it is over here just select this so as soon as you add over here if you go to the all section this property will be created over here if you expand this generals it will be created over here we can go to the expression builder there should be handle row action just drag and drop instead of the current we are having the details in the collection variable which we have defined in the collection template let me put this in an array and let me remove this off click on save now switch back to this live mode and also go to the general tab and make this as selection mode row as single done now i am going to click on this select single lov if you click we are getting the employee details over here previously when we were selecting any row it was not getting selected after we add that on oj row action it is taking the action that is it is selecting that particular selected row now i will click on this nina coacher so that particular row is getting selected so like this we can customize the look and feel of select single component with the help of collections component that is a table component so we will have more data when the user clicks on this lov so we can display the first name last name phone so you can make use of this concept and increase the user experience of the web pages what you create with oracle visual builder applications